guys welcome back to my channel so today I'm gonna be painting this 3d printed dr. Finkelstein I got the design for this off Thingiverse so in the description box I will link where you can download this um, it took me about 47 hours to print this I made it super big because I really just wanted a big dr. Finkelstein and it's so cool that you can print the axle and the wheels and it actually rolls too which is cool and then you got the little skull cap here to cover the brain and so it actually prints in pieces so I glued all the pieces together and then I took it outside and I spray painted it with a coat of filler primer so if you're not familiar with 3d printing it prints in layers and so after your print is complete you'll see the layers stacked on top of each other so I used the filler primer to help kind of fill those in and then I went over that with a coat of white primer so I would have a nice white base coat to work with and now you see me going over that with a satin finish white acrylic paint and so I'm going over all the areas that I know are going to be white or that I know are going to be a light color So now I'm mixing a color for the wheelchair and I want the wheelchair to look like a wood grain. So I added some orange into the brown so I could get more of like a caramel brown color. And I really want to try to keep my brush strokes horizontal. You are going to see me do some vertical brush strokes here, but in the end I do go back over the paint and do horizontal brush strokes. And the reason why I do that is because the layers are actually horizontal. And so I wanted the layers of the 3D print to resemble grain of wood. So that's why I went back and did my brush strokes horizontal in that panel there on the wheelchair. And now I'm going to be painting the wheel and I didn't bother putting a white base coat or a primer over top of the filler primer on this wheel because I knew that it was just going to be painted brown so that's why that wheel was gray to begin with and now I'm painting the brain and I mixed a pink with a brown to get this shade And I'm sorry guys that part of this is out of focus. I have gotten a new camera. This was actually the first video that I filmed after, you know, redoing my YouTube channel and coming back to film more videos. So this video is going to be by far the worst quality that I produce. So I am sorry for that, but all the videos in the future will be better. And now you see me um, painting his gloves and this paint had terrible coverage. I think this one was the Craft Smart brand from Michaels. So FYI, if you need a black paint um, that has good coverage, don't get that one. <laughs> So I ended up having to do about a good five coats of this black paint to get good coverage. And now I'm taking black chalk pastels on a little brush and I'm going to be brushing it into all of the indentations and grooves in this wheelchair. I really want the chair to look kind of old, decrepit, and dirty. So I'm really going to be focusing on all those grooves there. And then where the groove is, like where the corner is, that's really where I want the black to be concentrated. And then I'm going to start blending it out towards the center of that panel there to kind of give it more of a natural look. And I really want those corners to look dirty. And 
And then I'm just going to repeat the same process on the back side. Now I'm just doing the same thing for the wheels and I really wanted to focus the chalk pastels like in that center area and really pack it in those holes um, going around the perimeter of the wheel. So now I mixed up a few different shades of chalk pastels and I'm using an angle brush and I'm going to be packing that again in all the indentations in the brain to show some depth. pretty crazy what a difference shading makes in the finished product. So now I'm going in again and this time I'm using a slightly darker color. This one is a mixture of brown and black. Now I'm going in all those areas where I used the chalk pastel and now I'm using a watercolor pencil because I really wanted to deepen up especially the corners mostly and I'm just going to color that in as deep as I can to really show um, some dirt and depth and I'm also scratching some lines across the panels to kind of make them look scratched. Now I'm taking a mixture of some chalk pastels and I started putting it on the lab coat and it got a little too messy for me so I'm going to go back and fix that but down here where his legs go inside the lab coat I am shading that kind of dark because I want it to look like it it's kind of open and not just a solid piece I actually want it to look like his legs are coming out of something so I made sure to shade that in. Now I'm painting inside of his mouth and I mixed the brain color with some brown and some red to get this color for the gums. I really wanted it to have kind of a brown base. And as you can see, painting inside the mouth was really tedious. So at one point you see me just give up and paint over parts of the teeth and just not even care. And it actually worked out so much better to do that because going back later to paint the teeth white again was actually so much easier than trying to avoid all of the teeth with this paint color.
So now I took a white paint and I'm kind of going back over the lab coat to kind of get rid of that chalk pastel that I did before. It just was too, it was too much. Now what I did is I mixed the white acrylic paint with the chalk pastels that I mixed to dilute them a little bit and I'm adding that inside those groove lines in the lab coat because I do want it to look a little dirty um, but not too dirty and I really want the dirt to be concentrated in those wrinkles. See, now I'm just going over those teeth and this was so much easier than what I was doing before. And then after I finished painting the teeth, I took Dr. Finkelstein outside and I put two coats of clear sealer, a matte finish sealer on him to kind of make sure that all the chalk pastels stayed on and didn't come off over time. And that's it guys, he is done. I had so much fun with this one. I am obsessed with The Nightmare Before Christmas, so I couldn't wait to do this one. And I really hope you guys enjoyed watching me paint it. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future, then please be sure to like this video so I know. And thank you guys so much for watching. Bye!